What's going on once again everyone, MonkeyDo22 here for another Xbox Tip Tricker tutorial video and in this video today I'm going to show you how you can request a refund for an Xbox digital product after making a purchase. If you like this video and you enjoyed it and even if it helped you out, let me and others know by clicking that like button and sharing the video out with your friends. Be sure to click that subscribe button as well for more videos just like this. So what is this exactly? Well, Microsoft has announced a new way to request refunds for games that either don't work as expected, maybe you made a mistake in the purchase and obtained the standard version when you didn't realize that maybe there was a deluxe version that you wanted instead, or maybe you didn't make the purchase at all, whether it was a child or somebody else. Using this method, you'll be able to submit your request for a refund on these purchases directly to Microsoft without having to call in to support, thus streamlining the refund process. To start out though, you'll need your purchase order information that you wish to request a refund on. To get that information, start by signing into the Microsoft account which made the purchase on account.microsoft.com slash billing. Next, you'll need to locate the purchase and information. What you'll need is the order date and order number, which is located directly underneath the order date. Now, armed with that information, head on over to support.xbox.com slash forms slash request dash refund. I'll link to this in the description as well for easy browsing to the form, as well as the overarching page with more detailed steps on the form should you need them. On this page here, check the top right corner to ensure that you're signed into the account which made the purchase, then fill out the form following the directions and using the information you found on the previous website. It's important to note that most of the information will be filled out based on your current account information. If you use a different primary email address as opposed to the one listed, first verify that you're signed into the correct account, and once you've done that, you can replace that email address on the form. Microsoft will use this email address to contact you and follow up with more information to track the status of your refund request. Once you've filled out the form, click Submit and keep an eye on that email address for more information on the refund status. And that's all there is to it. If you have any other comments, questions, or suggestions for future videos, please let me know by leaving a comment in the comments section below. I do my best to answer those as quickly as I possibly can. And if the video was helpful, make sure to smash that like button and consider subscribing to the channel for more videos just like this. I'm MonkeyDo22, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.